hi beautiful people um i just wanted to do a video on just asking people if they want to give their life to christ so this is just dedicated for anyone that want to give their life to christ or rededicate yourself to christ um before i go ahead and get started i'm just gonna read um two scriptures first john 3 verse 16 it says we know love by this that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren and then, so that was 1 John 3, verse 16. And then I'm going to read another scripture, Romans 10, verse 9. That it that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Um, so what the Spirit of the Lord was showing me is that um, sometimes God has to save people in order to, um, and even sometimes God has to save people in those moments that, that they're on their deathbed. Sometimes God has to save people um, in those moments that they're going through hardship or they're going through um, trying situations. And sometimes God even have to save people through someone else passing away. Maybe that's sometimes what people might feel like, okay, well, this person just passed away. Now I need to know that um, I have to take my life more seriously. Sometimes God uses people people to help um lead that person to jesus christ and um one of the things that the spirit of the lord was dealing with me also is that sometimes he will even take someone's life right after being saved because that's the best way for them to keep their salvation so you may be praying for someone in your family and you're asking them, asking the lord to save them but god hasn't saved them yet because he's saying that if i save them i may have to take their life i may have to take them off of the earth in order for them to keep their salvation and you may be someone that has experienced death in these um in these times and you're actually in the Holy Spirit if someone got their life right with Christ. But at this point, if they already passed away, all you can do is focus on what God needs you to do for you to be able to surrender and make sure your life is in right standing. So I'm going to go ahead and just lead whoever needs to give their life to Jesus Christ to salvation um so just go ahead and repeat after me um dear lord jesus i know that i am a sinner and i ask for your forgiveness i believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead i turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life i want to trust and follow you as my lord and savior um and in jesus name amen once you have said this prayer, that means you have given your life to Christ. You have rededicated your life to Christ. And I will recommend that you continue to read the Bible. Um, you, you watch videos that are encouraging. You watch sermons. You find a church that you're able to be grounded in. You find small groups. You pray for the Holy Spirit to lead you to the right church so you can have this sermon. And I just pray that even now in the name of Jesus Christ, that Father God, for every person that has given given their life to you on today, Father God, that you will just touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Father God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, Father God, that you will help them, Lord God, to be connected, Father God, to people, Lord God, that will be a part of the molding process, Lord God, that you're taking them through, Father God, even those that have rededicated themselves, Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you will strengthen them, Father God, that they will keep their salvation in you, Father God, that you will equip them and strengthen them, Father God, and bind up anything, Lord God, that will rise up against this prayer time, rise up against your life, rise up against your desires for them, Father God. We just thank you, Lord God, that your souls are safe, Father God, that they have the inheritance of God from Genesis to Revelation, that you have the promises of God. And I just declare and decree it that every doorway that has been open against your life, every pathway that has been making your walk crooked, I declare and decree that it is being straightened, that you are in the bloodline of Jesus Christ. And every spirit of infirmity, any form of sickness, any form of betrayal, any hurt, anything from your past that the enemy can try to come back and accuse you of. I declare and decree that it is washed under the blood of Jesus Christ. May those doors be permanently closed. Father God, I declare and decree that your presence will be upon your sons and your daughters in the name of Jesus Christ and that they will walk with integrity, that they will walk with love, Father God, that they will walk with joy, Father God. And I pray, Lord God, that you will 
will build them and strengthen them and sell them, send them helpers, Father God, that will be a part of this journey, Lord God, that they're taking, Father God, to serve you, Father God, to surrender to you, to love you, Lord God, and be in right standing with you, Lord God. I just thank you, Father God, and I just glorify you, Lord, and we thank you, Father God, for this opportunity, Lord God, to serve you and to surrender to you, Lord. We just give you all the honor and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus love you and I love you and God bless you.